Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or these uh, tacos I do want to drive and maybe own, this is your All-Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and it just got out that there's some sneaky photos going around, and uh, some people that uh, love to go in the back doors of these websites, they have found the new Tacoma. That's right, the 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro photos are out, and we did know that Toyota was about to launch this. They've given us a launch date of this thing, which is exciting in itself, but people just can't wait. And, you know, they've dug into the Internet while well, they found one of the photos. Now, till these are officially launched, I never want to say these are official photos. So as of now, we're going to take these with a grain of salt and uh, we're going to talk about it. But they look pretty official. So uh, we'll get into this uh, first. If you're not yet, smash that like button for me on this one, man. I want to talk more Toyotas. And when you uh, smash that, we can do that. So here, let's bring this thing up. Here is the uh, this is from the uh, Tacoma 4G website, and I will post a link of this below if you want to play along. So it says source was found on uh, the Toyota website using previously model years images and trying different version numbers of the URL. It responded to 200 and it was a valid link, as you can see, or it would have came up with the error link 403. Now they give down here, they give the whole coding of how they found that, which is uh, I don't I don't think you're interested in that much about that, but it is kind of interesting. It says notice the file name is TAC for Tacoma model year 24 for model year 2024. It says TRD Pro. If I had to guess, it's a short bed and from the silhouette images released the other day, the Trail Hunter is a long bed and the TRD Pro still has the hood scoop while the trail hunter seems to not have the hood scoop and so uh yeah so i want to bring a bigger image of this up so we can talk about it and uh we'll, we'll go from there all right so we will bring this larger image up and remember till we see official from toyota these are never official photos and i don't ever want to represent these things as the official toyota photos but uh looks pretty looks pretty uh the image looks pretty toyota like and uh this thing we've known for some time kind of what it was going to look like you know toyota showed us all kinds of little teasers of it there was that whole you know patent photo that went around but the interesting thing that we're seeing from this for one is you look at the painted roof that is kind of new for toyota in the truck lines uh we've seen it with camry and stuff like that they've been very sporty looking on that but with the trucks uh it's kind of something new and different which i kind of like uh, also, there is the hood scoop to this thing, as you can see right here. Now, is it a functional hood scoop? I don't know, because we do know that it's going to get, you know, the, the hybrid system, but we don't know which model uh, motor they're going to put in this thing. Now, we're all assumed that it's going to get a four cylinder. But once again, till we get official press release from Toyota, we do not know. Now, from the tires in, of this thing, they look kind of puny. I will say that now Toyota, I've talked to them in the past about this. They never put super aggressive tires on their vehicles because they do not want those first six weeks for six months, uh, polls, those, uh, the surveys they fill out, you know, they don't want you dinging them on well, the ride, you know, it's a, it's, it's loud. Well, yeah, if you put an aggressive tire on it, it's going to be loud. But as you can see here, this thing is chewing through the dirt and it looks like it's having no problems doing it. Now we get a hint of the, what the wheels are going to look like, um, tires as well. We have an idea I'm going to assume a 32 inch tire. Uh, that's just me assuming what they might put under it now, but we're getting that classic. We've seen this in the, the Tundra and Sequoia, the uh, light bar look there, which I like that Toyota's doing that. And it's a good light bar too. You can see it looks like to be fog lights down here as well. The running lights are, are glowing right there. And you can see it looks like the LED lights there are growing. Uh, the hood looks very aggressive. Look at this bulge out. This looks very aggressive and I'm pretty impressed with that. But I'm really impressed by this painted roof. I can't say that enough. Now, look at these, these flares on this thing. They are popping. They know what you're going to do. They know you're going right to the tire store, and you're going to put something interesting under this that you want. So uh, my hat's off to you, Toyota, for doing that. But you can see it's throwing dirt everywhere, and it looks like some nice desert scenery there. Once again, the back with the flares out there popping out, and those look super aggressive. Now, it does look like we're going to get the classic Toyota skid plate down there. Um suspension wise right now i just don't know what we're going to get but uh ultimately this thing looks pretty good and um uh, whoever dug into this i hope you do not get in trouble for that but this is pretty badass i'm not gonna lie you know look at the the fish the fish fin up here for the uh, the radio i don't know what these these things are right now is there is toyota got something they're playing on doing down the road and once again this looks to be the trd pro version of this thing so that's pretty impressive to me I like this um, from what we can tell. Remember, there's nothing official till Toyota officially releases photos. So as of now, we're just assuming these are uh, Toyota photos. But till we know, we really don't know. So in the comments, I need you on this one. 
hey, Toyota crew, where are you at? Are you interested in this truck? Does this truck, it still seems to have very much um, of the previous generation's kind of uh, feel. I will say that it, it does. The It's not too wide looking, which I like the fact that Toyota's kind of made a, they kept it kind of in the smaller category. They And they know what their audience wants. They want that kind of that old school mid-size pickup truck. And, uh, and I'm curious what you think. And what motor is this thing going to get? Uh, we've all speculated a four-cylinder, but do you think that? Do you think that Toyota would have the balls to throw uh, four-cylinders in most of them, but the TRD Pro, go at Ford, go at Chevy, because, you know, there's a ZR2, and we know Ford's got a Raptor coming at some point. Do they go after these people and uh, take them on head-on? Because, you know, Toyota has a lot to uh, lose with this one. They uh, they own this segment and they don't want to lose any market share to us. So uh, in the comments, let me know what you think. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or this, uh, you know, you know, I want to drive this truck. You just know it. It's been your All Train Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.